what's up friends welcome back to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe okay i got that out of the way so what we're going to cover today i got my my helper here we're going to talk about this thing right here there we go um as you can see it is clicking it's making all kinds of sounds and flashing the light and uh scaring the rodents away but is it really i'm going to get you in there so you can take a look all right, so as you can see, there's a video where I show the installation process on, on this bad boy. And you can see how I have the wires set up. Now, you would think all is well and good. It did not actually keep rodents out of the car, I'm sad to say. Uh, and I know nothing, nothing is really going to do that 100%. But I'll show you just how bad it was. Now, I, I had cleaned up some of the... Uh, droppings and evidence um but in addition to that i also had a bar of soap here which i still have and look <clears throat> i came out of here one night and i heard ch -ch 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 -ch. there was a dang rat in here chewing on the soap so i guess that also does not work so um i kind of had this in here for peace of mind i thought well i should just keep it in here just in case maybe it helps a little bit um, but I've already like toasted through two batteries. Now I know this is not the best brand of battery to get, uh, but still, um, this thing has just been killing it. So I'm going to go ahead and uninstall this tonight and, uh, we're just going to have to take our chances without it and, and doing other forms of pest control. Um, and this is a, the area where we live is just we've got wildlife everywhere so there's no there's no way to like fully prevent it um we're gonna show the there we go nice little tool kit i got this one at costco but i actually have a link for this one on amazon a uh, slightly different model number but same tool kit and this is a great just handy keep it in your car kind of thing so we're working on a toyota today so you guessed it. It's probably going to be a 10 millimeter. I'm going to be really embarrassed if this doesn't fit. Huh. That's going to be fine. There's a little step down adapter. And again, one handed, not the easiest. Now, the smart thing would probably be to, uh, sorry about the poor camera work here smart thing would be to disconnect the negative terminal and just that's probably what I should do I don't know I think I think I should be able to just um, slide this slide this off oh wow this was loose too that's cool but yeah so I took this uh, took the van to a new mechanic my guy George has closed his shop so I tried out a new one and one of the things they found in their inspection was that the battery was almost completely dead. Now, oh, there we go. We'll just go ahead and disconnect the battery there. That's fine. It's the right way to do it anyway. I'm just going to loosen this up. But yeah, I was shocked when they said, yeah, it seems that your battery is really old. And I'm like, no, the battery's from December. <laughs> and it's only February. It's not old. I'm going to do a little wider angle here. Hopefully that helps. Now we'll go ahead and loosen up the positive. Yep. And oftentimes on, on cars, you'll find devices like this. Um, you know, anything that you're, you need to uh, uninstall. Yeah, this is a good process to follow. Obviously for entertainment purposes only, I'm not a mechanic. So they also told me that like, I need to charge this battery like it's toast. So I'm gonna be getting out my charger and hooking that up and I'll show y'all what's involved with that. Pretty simple, but in case you've never done it. <laughs> Again, one-handed. You know, I watch, I watch a lot of YouTube mechanics that do stuff one-handed and 
I, I gotta say, like, they make it look easy. Uh, one honorable mention would be uh, Randy from Auto Auction Rebuilds. And a lot of people say that he doesn't wrench on cars himself. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I've seen him work, and, uh, and it's usually one-handed, and he does a pretty good job. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I don't know how good of a mechanic he is, but he gets it done, and with one hand. So, yeah, I don't want to, like, over-torque the heck out of this, but I want it to be nice and snug so that we've got a, a good... Uh, good contact. That is not... I just want to make sure that's tight. Whatever it is. There. So again, I'm not putting my... Putting my back into it, but... I am making sure that we're... That we're good here. Now, just careful. There's a video of my LS400 where I... Managed to touch the wrench to some metal while I was doing the positive. So, careful with that, my friends. Actually, what I should have done was tighten this down... And then connected the negative. So, whoops. But we'll be all right. We're okay. You always want to be careful working with electrical. So, all I need to do now is... You know, I think I have a little pocket knife. One of my favorite tools from back in the day. My buddy Joe got one of these... Of course, he had a full-size one, but then he picked up this Leatherman Micro, man, and this thing is so cool. It's got little scissors. They're super dull at this point, but, but you know, for just little jobs, especially when you just don't want to go hunting for something bigger, you know, this works great. Cut some, cut some zip ties and whatever the case may be. Yeah, man, and we have, can't remember can't remember what brand this was, but I can say it does what it says it'll do, but it doesn't work, <laughs> right? Uh, okay, so we've got that going, or we've got that removed. So next step is going to be to get my battery charger, and we're going to put this thing on a recondition. So again, good little tool set. I mean, this is not like, it's not my favorite socket set in the whole world, but will say I just I keep this in my Tesla just in case something something you know you've got uh, you know five millimeter up to 19 millimeter I don't know why I said that's so funny five millimeter to 19 millimeter and then five thirty seconds all the way up to seven eighths uh, and and a little extension here and uh, this too so pretty good little pretty good little set man and the, and the ratchet, uh, ratcheting wrench does feel good. It feels very high quality. All right, I'm going to grab my charger. We're going to hook that up, and I'll show you what's up with that. All right, here we are. We're back. We've got the, uh, we're rocking the Everstart battery. Yep. That's right. <laughs> and I've had this for several years, having had, you know, a small fleet of cars. Uh, it's weird just having two cars now, but this thing has just been a lifesaver, man. This thing is awesome. Highly recommend it. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description for a similar product. I got this at a uh, Harbor Freight. I think it was around 50 bucks, uh, but I'll try and find one that, that has comparable specs. Oh, uh, Really? So, again, one-handed. Shout out to you, Randy. <laughs> also, Monkey Wrench Mike. He's a good, he's a good one-handed mechanic. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, we're gonna get that set up. I have routed the extension cord over to here. So, pardon the camera work, but I'm just gonna plug this in. Yeah, this is bad camera work. My apologies. It's also like really dark, so I can't really see what I'm doing. 
And uh, if I can come up with some more excuses, I will let you know. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that little pop there means it's working. <laughs> Kind of like, you know, if the car didn't leak oil, how would you know it had any? All right. Now, I remember... Oh, yeah. I don't remember which side. <laughs> ah, this is great. On the old battery, I had actually taken a pencil and marked which side was positive and which was negative. I'm not really sure. So you can see on here it says connect, put the clamps. Now I'm pretty sure this thing has a hey. has a deal for in case you screw up. So we're gonna find that out. <laughs> so far I haven't fried myself. Oh. Okay, yeah. Let's give it 10 point, 12 point one. But yeah, it's at 40 percent. I have to say my shop I tried out today or this week they didn't lie that was not that I thought they would but you know so uh, this one has a few different um, few different features I think if I just leave it here it'll just trickle charge but I want I want a full recondition so we're gonna I guess we're not gonna recondition I'm gonna just unhook this real quick we're gonna start over. There we go. Put on the clamps and recondition. There we go. Battery in repair now. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna it's gonna repair the battery. I don't know how it does it, but it does it. And uh, and usually when I run this full cycle, I can't remember how many hours it takes. It's quite a while, but once it's complete, the battery is like brand new again. As long as, like, it's a healthy battery. And this should be. The one thing I will say about AAA there is, uh, like, they came out. I mean, they probably weren't supposed to, but they saw this. And, and they were like, well, yeah, that's probably draining the battery. But you need a new battery. And so they covered it under warranty. So this is, like, the third battery we've had. Um, not the third battery with this device on it, but the first battery only lasted like a year and a half. Then they replaced it with the last one we had and then replaced it with this one. So, I mean, I'm bummed out that their batteries don't last very long, but at least like they're good about the warranty. I called them and like, bam, they're here in five, maybe 10 minutes. So they're pretty awesome. Um, and totally not sponsored content, but I would highly recommend if you do have a car, that you get AAA. It's really not that expensive. I think it's like 50 bucks for like basic and then something like 100 bucks, 125, 150, I don't know, for the year for like the premium one. Get the premium one. Uh whatever it whatever it's called, the gold or the platinum, can't remember. Um but you know, what I say is like if you drive an old car, you should have AAA. If you have a new car, you should have AAA. So most of the new cars aren't coming with spare tires either. So, you know, there are just all kinds of times when you might need however many miles of towing that is. And they're just everywhere, and I think they're the best at, at what they do. Not to mention all, like, the DMV services and the discounts and all kinds of other stuff, uh, the perks that you get through them. So that's just my two cents on that. If you have AAA, like, comment down below. Like, am I right? Am I wrong? Tell me. That's fine. Uh, just while we're in here looking at a couple of things. Um, so kind of interesting. If you know anything about the 3.5 liter 2G RFE, this is the uh, VVTi cam gear oil line. And I guess a lot of these, um, that little rubber hose in the middle there would burst and uh, kill the engine basically. <laughs> um, and what I found out is that this one was actually replaced um, from the factory recall. And uh, that was done in 2012. So that's good, but there's a metal line that they use now. So I kind of just have to keep an eye on that bad boy and make sure that it's, make sure that it's good. Um, found out that the van, the old van needs a lot of little things. 
there are just a lot of a lot of little things that are starting to go wrong but nothing that's uh nothing that's like urgent so uh we're just going to kind of monitor a bunch of things you know and you can see evidence of rodent down there uh, and as i always say nothing runs longer or you know nothing will work broken longer than an old toyota they really are good uh, but i am disappointed with some of the things going wrong with this van stuff that just shouldn't be this bad at this point it looks like rear main seal has a leak and uh there's like a transmission line that's leaking transmission pan is leaking there's a torn uh cv axle boot and you know other little odds and ends so kind of a bummer but you know it still runs well it still drives well so we're gonna just keep an eye on it that's a lot more than i was going to cover in this but in any case hope you enjoyed the video i won't show you the rest of this this is going to take hours so <laughs> we're just going to let it do its thing and uh yeah don't forget link in the description for for this guy something similar to this guy and uh and yeah and i would say for this uh, maybe don't bother <laughs> but i'll put a link in the description for that if if you want to try it like why why the heck not i got it from amazon um and yeah i think i'm going to be throwing this in the trash <laughs> you know truthfully um anyway that's all i got wow that's really bright so until next time stay driven <laughs> bye <laughs>